What is going on? Sam Kanoff, Sam Fit. Checking in with you guys. I guess to do all doing terrific. And we are back with another video. It's going to be a quick intro today. No, I'm not going to stall. We're going to get after it. Uh, but today's video is going to be to have a covering, uh, essentially like a hybrid lifestyle. Uh, we run in, we're going to be getting some strength training. And we're also going to be talking about nutrition. Uh, I, like, I feel like I've said it over and over again in every video that you guys have seen from now on uh, for the last few videos. We're doing a competition, competition, bodybuilding competition in about four weeks as, as of today. Uh, today's a refeed day. By refeed, I mean it's a loose term. I'm just gonna eat a little bit more because I'm about to run today, uh, my bigger run. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, I'm not gonna stall, I'm just gonna get through it. And like I mentioned in previous video, I don't have a set goal, like a set like mileage I wanna run. Um, I just wanna run, uh, you know, I have a set time. I'd be, ideally speaking, I would like to get like an hour at least um, in and uh, we'll see how we feel um, as we progress. Uh, the only thing I have today is the BPN um, field bar. Uh, wash that down with some of the uh, two scoops of G1M Sport this morning. And with me as always, I'm just saying that because if you watch this channel before you're doing exactly what's going on, but in case you're new to the channel, I figure I'm bringing you up to speed and we are using the Martin gel. So that we have the black one and we have the white one. The difference between the two, caffeinated, non-caffeinated. So about 100 milligrams of caffeine in this, essentially a cup of coffee. Just to give me that little energy boost. I have this with me. And also I have with me because it's getting hotter in St. Louis, is gonna be the salt pack. Again, I'll pop in this while every 30, 40 minutes or so, just to make sure I catch myself before I feel like I need to. That's all we take in today. Um, that's a quick intro for you guys to the video. Uh, woke up this morning at 207, feeling good. Uh, feeling sh feeling shredded, feeling like a weapon. Shout out to Nathan French, which I think is going to be this weekend. Um, but yeah, I ready to get after it. Bottoms up. Let's get some miles in. everyone unfortunately we just lost our boy the scooter so Sam has to go pick up the car and well actually run to the car and then come back here to pick up me and my boy um, but then we got some good footage so far so and I think Sam's doing really well on this run I don't really know how he does this shit um, doing contest prep and running at the same time but he just does it all, you know what I'm saying? He just does it all. To run uh, in, uh, we finished six, mi six miles in 53 minutes and two seconds, and we're finishing 850 pace. Again, um, I could have kept going, but I decided to not keep going because I want to take that run. Um, going longer miles or going more than six miles or more than how the point where I feel is just going to add additional fatigue. Uh, again, the goal is not to improve my running. The goal is just to run because it's something I enjoy, because it's hard, it's difficult. Um, I want to keep my you know, fitness level. And the further I go, the more run I go, the more uh, fatigue I'm going to be accumulating. But good news is this next coming week is deload week also. But today, like I said, is going to be a refeed day, which again, one of the reasons why you kind of plan your refeed around something like this is because it allows you to kind of just recover a little bit too, right? And again, like I said, the whole week has been pretty much overreaching RP called Jesus. So having a refeed today, um, then going to deload is a good way to minimize stress and put me in the best position for me to keep seeing significant changes as we get to about four weeks out from the next show. Now we're going to go home. 
pack it up, go get a meal in, and uh, I'm gonna be taking you guys through the rest of the day. Uh, but this is what the physique is looking like. Pull six mile run, feeling good. A little side chest there, boom. I feel good. I feel good. Too fast. So, update. Um, it is about noon right now, and uh, got home, showered. I'm not, and I love to take all the special rocks. Special rocks? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. But yeah, uh, we are going to the zoo and trying to get some more steps in. So, um, also something that I've been doing rock. that's been helping with fat yeah. loss is I've been delaying my yeah. feeding time. So maybe some people might call it fasting, but I didn't really fast this morning because I actually had some pre-workout, uh, pre-run fuel. But um, because I'm planning on grabbing some ice cream with this crew later. So get some steps in, see a bunch of animals. And we're gonna go grab some food later. with my little tribe um i've not eaten it's about almost three o'clock i'm not eating anything yet today so i got a diet coke <laughs> so, uh, and what did you get um ice cream what does it have on it sprinkles sprinkles Ooh, yummy and what did you get ice cream it's got sprinkles on it is it good and what did daddy get mm. soda <laughs> Daddy got soda. First meal that I had today was the only meal that I have so far today was the pure. Uh, well, Daddy doesn't like the soda. No, she doesn't. Uh, the only meal that I had today so far is the BPN uh, fuel bar. Um, I had uh, two scoops. <laughs> I had two scoops of the G1M Sport uh, this morning, which I drank half, and I had two gels. So total, I mean, so forty. 80 about 100 grams of carbs so far uh, post run and i have not had anything post run and i still feel relatively good so majority of my meal is going to be later and i'm not going to have and by the way um that is more carbs that i've had in the last six days that's how much we dig in so my macros in the last six days has been uh 45 to 50 grams of carbs 40 grams of fats and 260 to 280 grams of protein <laughs> Right, so I uh, dropped the girls off at home because they were kind of losing it on uh, the mind and they want to go see mom. So I stopped over at Target. I normally don't shop at Target. I am a uh, Walmart guy. I uh, do Walmart delivery. Thank God for technology. Um, imagine for parents that are watching this, like think about what used to be, what it used to be when you were kids and your parents would pack everybody in the car and go down to the store and everybody's yelling. And people wonder why a lot of kids now or a lot of parents now are losing their mind because that's how they were brought up i mean the fact that a lot of our parents uh don't have um you know full-time subscription to uh you know mental institute or a uh, therapy blows my mind but anyway that's not the point the point i'm doing what, what i'm trying to show you guys is just quick things that i've been uh loving that i've been grabbing real quick that's been helping me in case it's you saw how low my macros are uh one cucumber I uh, love these. I'll be snacking on these. Uh, 100 grams, it's about two uh, grams of carbs. Uh, again, it's full, it's uh, satiated. Watermelon is another one that I'm looking for, but they don't have it here. And also, this right here has been a game changer. So, this is the Fire Greek yogurt. Um, it's zero fat, uh, five grams of carbs, and 18 grams. So, if you're struggling to get protein in, this is a massive, massive hack. And I'm going to be showing you what I, how I make my with another BPM product that literally that is what I, you follow me on Instagram, you already know what this is going to be. I'm going to be showing you guys later. So, pack this up, and we are officially going to have our first meal of the day at about 4 o'clock. I just want to have fun, clap my hands, turn around now, and
how you make the perfect crotone oatmeal. And just like that, so that is gonna be the first meal. Uh, so again, here we have your mushrooms, onion, egg white. I have a little sriracha on that and you have your protein oatmeal in here that I just show you guys how I'm making. So in total about 80 grams of protein again because I'm pretty short on protein so I'm catching up and it's about almost five o'clock. So I'm gonna eat this, get some client work done and I'm gonna show you the rest of the meals for the rest of the day. Okay, taking a quick audible uh, just to make some dinner for the family, especially the girls. Again, we'll be living balanced diet. Uh, they've been eating like, you know, snacks all day and they have some ice cream just before lunch, before dinner. Um, so now we're having some ground beef, some rice, and it's gonna be put in some of the taco season in it. So if I were to see that, sit down and have this uh, dinner with them, what I would do instead of the jasmine rice that I have in here, is I'll sub that with a rice veggie. I mean, the macros on here are super, super friendly. Uh, 20 calories per serving, and it's four grams of carbs uh, per serving. And the whole bag alone is about 12 grams of carbs. So obviously rice is very high in carb and heavy in carbs. Something to balance that out is by throwing some cauliflower rice or mixed veggie in between to get that volume. And you don't have to miss out on meals like with your family. And this is what the finished product is looking like. This is my little, this is my biggie. It looks messy, but so essentially it's just rice, again, ground beef, and I put some ranch in it. Sometimes we put a little Mexican cheese in it. So this is actually not a bad bowl to make, especially if you bulk into uh, rice. Rice is very heavy in carbs. Instead of doing like a 96 lean ground beef, you can do a more of a higher fat because fat uh, has a lot of calories in it. So, but this is their meal, and I'm gonna, some broccoli inside. You're gonna devour this and I'm gonna go finish my client chickens. All right, what is going on? So it is the next day, and yesterday, the last clip that you guys just saw is me making dinner uh, for the family. And to be honest with you, I was just, I was just knocked out. I, was, I could not stop yawning. I went back to doing some client check-ins, and uh, all my clients, I got a lot of response from me today. If I mean, because I do video response to my clients, in case you're wondering, I am a coach, lifestyle conscious book. If you're interested, link in the description. I have in the shipping list plug. I'm a damn good fucking coach. Uh, but anyways, I was re uh, responding to all my clients yesterday, doing a video check-in, and I was just like uh, yawning. I was like, apologize. And I'm like, man, I, I don't know what's going on. I'm just super tired. So it won't make any sense for me to grab the camera and just try to like and record a camera, uh, record content for you guys. And yesterday there was not really much going on uh, outside of just me eating food, getting clients checked in, laying down, and literally passing the fuck out. Because it was a long day. Like I said, I were six miles yesterday. I uh, went around for about four hours just all over the city, chasing out for my, my girls. Uh, but I was just, I was pooped. So this morning, woke up at 208.7, uh, I believe. I'll put, uh, yesterday, I woke up at 207.1. 1.2 and um, I did have a quote unquote refeed like I said yesterday I didn't really I track protein and I know for a fact I did have more carbs than usual again because we're at six miles so this morning I mean it's all it's normal to wake up a little bit maybe like a pound over and oftentimes the leanest of clients usually are the more they might wake up the next day with like a lighter weigh in so it's not really I mean it could be worse it could be three four pounds which I know it's not gonna be the case and if that's the case I can make some general sense of why that happened but anyways uh, that was what happened yesterday that's a quick recap for you guys but we are at the gym right now again of course because it's a hybrid content uh getting alive so to speak and i typically like to cover two days because uh, one day is just not enough to give you enough content to give you enough insight into how things are going so today macros are back to normal my digging macros i mean again uh, my, my, my macros essentially for the rest of the day or the rest of the week to my next refeed is going to be about uh six to seven grams of carbs uh 40 grams of fat and 260 280 grams of protein yes my carbs is that low uh we are less than uh four weeks out from the show it's a digging phase i'm digging to make sure i bring my best to the stage and i'll be showing you guys a little physique update after what we're about to do right now and what we're about to do right now is hit the gym again just blow up to the gym i got a pre-workout on deck right now uh by the way this green shaker is awesome um it came with the new um uh, uh with the new uh, limited edition drop for the prickly pear the bpn just dropped it might be sold out by the time I'm watching this video if you want to give it a shot i mean you want to give it try that out it's a link in the description for you guys so you want to check that out um but yeah uh, with the gym right now it's a deload week for me so i'm not really going to cover much i'm going to be covering the next content or uh video i'm actually going to do like a, a, a talking head video sit down kind of just bring, give you guys a little bit more uh context as to what uh my program is looking like for the next few weeks i, I haven't done that in the past and i want to do that for you guys again value 
is important give you a little uh, you know context into my sense of how I program especially when it comes to fat loss face right because it's gonna be different as we just dig and get uh, get to the show but anyways uh, let's talk in I'm gonna finish my pre-workout get to the gym and get after a uh, deload upper body session right now and I'm gonna show you his physique update and we're gonna wrap the video up all right so um, I got to put my hoodie on uh, it's part of that it's part of that time of prep where everything just feels cold. I sit in my car for 20 minutes longer without the AC on because it's hot. It just feels good. It's weird. It's like 95 degrees in my car, but the hoodie's on. We're gonna get after it. And the uh, workout that I'm doing, that we're doing today, again, it's gonna be on the RP Training app. It was supposed to launch on the 15, but they are fixing some bugs. But you can definitely sign up for a notification or join the beta uh, just to test it out uh, when it launches. Uh, the link again will be in the description in case you want to check that out. That for the do, let's get swole. We step out the cage, we raising all of the stakes. Make no mistake, either you stay in your place or we put in you on a plate. Look at our face, we put the fear in the dirt. We had to struggle for change, pick up the pace. We put in infinite work, that's why we stay getting paid. Y'all running late, we moving on to the next. You still been stuck in the phase, there's no debate. We draw the line in the sand, we say it straight to your face. They on the rate, so we put the team on our back. We took the city to state, what it's gonna take? Another S on our chest, another beat in the grave. We in the vein. We always switching it up, they can't predict what we say Come out the cave, they see the blood on our shirt They see the teeth in the face, they watching tape Still trying to figure us out, they think we came to the play They send the snakes, they trying to give us a curse They want us taking the bait, but that's okay we Alrighty, so that is the workout uh, for today Deload, um, something about deload If you don't look forward to deload, if deload doesn't feel good uh, you're not on the right training program. Uh, and, and the reason why I'm saying that is because if you're on a structured training program, you should be accumulating, I've said, I've said this over and over again, you should be accumulating fatigue and it gets to the point which was last week was my overreaching week where you overreach. And as soon as you finish that week, you're like, man, I cannot, or while you're going through that process, you, you should be like, your mentality, or the question, the question that you should be asking yourself is, man, Am I looking forward to deload while I'm going through this grueling process? If you're not looking forward to the deload, chances are you're not in the right training program. And pro tip, you do not want to go to failure every time you work out because it's not efficient for you and you are just going to lead yourself to a place where you're going to hurt yourself. So workout was good. Workout was great. Um, it wasn't like anything killing like a max numbers or anything like that, overreaching. We did all that last week. This week is just for us to deload, recover, which again, which is going to be very, very um, sufficient and needed if you are going through a fat loss phase. I just remembered also that I told you guys I was going to mention or show you guys one of my biggest hacks that I've been literally doing uh, since um, uh, this prep started. Something that I've been looking forward to. I didn't have the time to show you, but I'm going to be showing you guys on the next videos as far as, you know, like a full day, you know, eating. Again, we are over... Uh, a little over three weeks out from the show. I'll be covering a lot of nutrition tips. And if there's any other content or nutrition that you guys want to see um, on this channel while we're going through. And again, most of my YouTube channel is going to, most of the content on here is based around questions you guys are asking me, things that I'm going through as a dad, um, as a guy working at a five job, as a coach. Uh, but again, the videos that I make for you guys is not for me, it's for you guys to be, hopefully help you be the best version of yourself. So if there's any video, if there's any content, if there's anything, anything you guys want to see on this channel, Put a comment below. I mean, engage. I'm trying to build a community here, and I cannot do that with a by being a community of one. I can only do that by you guys joining the community and interacting and let me know what you guys want to see on this channel moving forward. With that being said, I've overlaid what the current physique is right now. Looking pretty good. Still a lot of work to be done, and I'm going to be seeing you guys on the next video. Happy Father's Day. By the time this video is going out, uh, it's going to be a week from Father's Day, but right now it's Father, Father's Day. I'm recording content on Father's Day. Again, the work's got to be done. I'm taking care of player one so I can be efficient and be my best person for my rest of my people that I care about my family. So if you're a dad out there, take care of yourself. Your health is your wealth. I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay on fit. Peace.